Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn from the Mechanical Aptitude Testing website, howtobecome.com, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to pass a mechanical aptitude test. So if you have a mechanical comprehension test or a mechanical aptitude test coming up very soon, make sure you watch this tutorial from start to finish because I promise to help you pass it. So to achieve that goal, I will give you a number of mechanical aptitude test questions to work through live on the screen. And remember, practice makes perfect. I will give you some tips for gaining the highest scores possible, and I will give you some walkthrough explanations. But first of all, let's take a quick look at what a mechanical aptitude test is. Now, mechanical aptitude tests have been in use for many years now, and they are used by employers to assess your potential to perform a specific job. Now, predominantly, they are used in careers which require an ability to work with or understand mechanical concepts. And that's why it's really important to carry out lots of practice questions, because if you understand the mechanical concepts and how to approach them, you are more likely to pass your mechanical aptitude test. So examples of careers which require a level of mechanical aptitude include train driver, armed forces and military positions, including the Air Force or the Navy, driving careers, including freight driver. A lot of engineering careers use mechanical aptitude tests to assess your suitability and also emergency services, especially the job of a firefighter. So tell me in the comments section below the video which job you are applying for. And I will also give you some more tips and practice questions in addition to the ones that we are going to work through right now. So how do you prepare for a mechanical aptitude test? Well, undoubtedly, the best way to prepare for your forthcoming mechanical aptitude test is to simply carry out lots of practice questions, but to make sure you practice these questions under timed conditions, because during the real test, you will be placed under pressure. You will have to answer a set number of questions under strict timed conditions. So the best way is to practice questions, but to also put yourself under a little bit of pressure. And then when it comes to the real test, the timed conditions will not be a surprise. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to work through a number of mechanical aptitude test questions. Now, I'm going to start off very easy, and then we'll progress to some harder questions. Don't neglect the easy questions. A lot of people still get caught out on the easy mechanical aptitude test questions. So question number one is, which box is the heaviest? Is it A, B, C, or D? They are all equal, or E? cannot say. Now, a lot of people would put down A is the heaviest because it looks the heaviest because it is the largest box. But just because box A is the largest, it doesn't mean to say it's the heaviest. The truth is we don't know which is the heaviest based on the image that we have provided, sorry, that we have been provided with. So the answer can only be E, cannot say. And this is why I say to you, don't neglect the basic questions that appear to be really easy. You can still get caught out. So the correct answer to question number one is E. So now it's your turn to try some mechanical aptitude test questions. Please put your answer to question two in the comments section below the video for marking. Thank you. I will come on here each day and mark your answers for you. So on the right hand side, you have a green timer. I'm going to give you about 10 seconds to answer each question. If you find this this amount of time is not enough. Simply pause the video. The important thing is that you can answer the question. So question two is, if a weight was placed on top of these pile of bricks, which pile could take the heaviest weight, A, B, C, or D? Here's your timer. Put your answer in the comment section below the video. Thank you. Okay, well done. So as I said, these are very easy. We're going to progress and work through some harder ones as we go along. Let's now try a different type of mechanical aptitude test question. Now, this is very common during mechanical aptitude tests, and this is cogs, cogs and wheels. They come up a lot. Make sure you practice lots of these before the real test. So it says, question three, if bar B at the bottom moves to the left, 
which way will cog C turn? Is it A clockwise or B anticlockwise? Now, sometimes you would refer to anticlockwise as counterclockwise, but it's really important to understand what clockwise and anticlockwise are. So let's quickly look at an explanation of clockwise and anticlockwise, and we'll then come back to the question. So in very basic terms, clockwise is the direction the hands on a clock would turn. So always remember that as a reference point. The direction the, the hands on a clock turn is clockwise, and the opposite direction is anticlockwise or counterclockwise. Let's go back to the question. So if bar B moves to the left, which way will cog C turn? And this is your understanding of mechanical concepts. What, so what you have to do is go through each cog that is linked to bar B in your mind. So if B goes to the left, that cog will turn clockwise. The one above it will go anti or counterclockwise. The next one, clockwise and cog C, would go counterclockwise. So the correct answer is B, anticlockwise. And you would learn this in your head. You would do it in your mind. And that's why you need to practice lots of them. So now it's your turn to try another mechanical aptitude test question. Please put your answer to question four in the comment section below the video for marking. Thank you very much. Question four. If cog A turns anticlockwise or counterclockwise, which way will cog B turn? Is it A clockwise, B anticlockwise? Here's your timer. Okay, fantastic. Well done. You're doing great. Please try one more mechanical aptitude test question. Please put your answer to question five in the comments section below the video for marking. Thank you very much. Question five, if cog E turns clockwise, which way will cog A turn at the bottom? A clockwise, B anticlockwise. Here's your timer. Okay, brilliant. Well done. So let's now try a different type of mechanical aptitude test question, a little bit harder. Question six, if both trucks were involved in a head-on crash with another vehicle whilst traveling at the same speed, which one would cause the most damage? If the damage would be equal, select C for your answer. So we've got two identical trucks in shape and size, but they're each carrying different loads. So we have to look at the load and decide which one would cause the most damage. So the one on the left, A, has a 1,000 kilogram load. The B has 1,500 kilogram load. They're both very heavy, but the question is, which would cause the most damage? Now, of course, because B is carrying the most weight, that is the one that would cause the most damage. So the correct answer to question six is B. So now it's your turn to try another mechanical aptitude test question. Please put your answer to question seven in the comments section below the video mark for marking. Thank you very much. Which direction is the truck moving? If the truck is stationary, select C for your answer. So is it moving in direction A or B? Now the clue there is to look at that ball which is on some rope hanging in the middle of the truck. Put your answer in the comments section below. Is it A, B or C? Here's a timer. Okay, great. Well done. So please try two more mechanical aptitude test questions. And you can see how by placing yourself under time conditions, it certainly goes a long way to helping you understand mechanical concepts and it will help you to get higher scores, I promise you. So please put your answers to questions eight and nine in the comments section for marking. Thank you very much. Question eight. Which of the following tools, A, B, C or D, is best for removing nails from wood? Here's a timer. Okay, and question nine, again, which of the following tools, A, B, C, or D, is best for driving screws? Here's a timer. Okay, awesome, you're doing fantastic. Let's now try a different type of mechanical aptitude test question. Which load is the heaviest? Is it A, load A? B load B or C, both the same. So of course, the clue there 
is the fact that that bar resting on the fulcrum in the middle is tilting to the left, which indicates that B is the heaviest load. Don't fall into the trap of thinking A is a larger box, therefore it's heavier. Look for clues, and the clue there is that balancing beam is tilting to the left of the, of the fulcrum, which means that B is the correct answer. Okay, so now it's your turn. Try two more mechanical aptitude test questions, please. Put your answers to questions 11 and 12 in the comments section below the video for marking. Thank you very much. Question 11, which is the heaviest load? Is it A, load A, B, load B, or C, both the same? Here's a timer. Okay, great. Well done. Try one more. 12. This is a bit harder. Which man is doing the least amount of work? Is it A, man A, B, man B, or C? They are both doing the same amount of work. This is a little bit harder. Here's a timer. Okay, fantastic. Let's now make things a little bit harder for you. Question 13. If wheel A rotates clockwise, which of the other wheels will also rotate clockwise? A, all of them. B, B, C, E, G, and H, C, D, and F, or D, D, E, and F. So we already know which direction clockwise is and anti-clockwise. So we can see that A is rotating clockwise. And it says which of the other wheels will also rotate clockwise. So work this through in your mind quickly. So if we start with A, we can see that H will then rotate anti or counterclockwise. G will also go counterclockwise. F will go clockwise. E anticlockwise. D clockwise. C counterclockwise. And B also counter or anticlockwise. So the correct answer is D and F. So the only answer option is C. And the more practice you do of these in your mind, the quicker you will get. Now they look complicated. But if you understand what to do here, you can quickly work it out in your mind and you can get this answer done literally in well under 10 seconds. So now it's your turn to try two more mechanical aptitude test questions live on the screen. Please put your answers to questions 14 and 15 in the comments section below the video for marking. Thank you very much. Question 14. If wheel B rotates clockwise, which of the other wheels will rotate anti or counterclockwise. A, all of them. B, B, C, G and H. C, wheels C, G and H. Or D, wheels C, E, G and H. Here's a timer. And if you are able to answer that in 10 seconds, you're doing great. Question 15. If wheel H rotates anti or counterclockwise, which of the other wheels will also rotate anti or counterclockwise? A, all of them. Answer option B, wheels G, E, C and B. Answer option C, E, G, A and B or answer option D, E, C and B. Here's a timer. Don't forget to read the question. Brilliant. Well done. So let's now try something a little bit harder. These are really difficult. Let's now try a different type of mechanical aptitude test question. So I would urge you to watch this explanation in detail because it will help you to really save time during your forthcoming mechanical aptitude test question. There's a formula, an easy formula that I want to give you. These types of questions come up often and people struggle with them, but there's a quick way to work them out. They look complicated, but they're not. Question 16. How much weight will need to be placed on the right-hand side to balance the beam? So you can see on the left that we've got 50 kilograms. We've got the fulcrum point, the triangle, just to the left there. And then underneath, we've got one meter and two meter distance. So it looks really complicated. And there is the fulcrum, the balance point, which would ideally be in the middle. But we need to balance it. So 50 kilograms is on the left-hand side. What weight do we need to put on the right-hand side? Seems really difficult, but there is this calculation. Now, don't be fearful of this, because once you understand it, it's really easy to use. And as I say, this is going to really help you 
during your forthcoming mechanical aptitude test. So the formula is force, which is the amount of weight that we need to put down on that right hand side. Force equals weight, which in this case is 50 kilograms, times distance one. And distance one is always below the amount of weight there. Distance one divided by distance two. So distance one is one meter, distance two is two meters. So if we go to that calculation, if we take force equals the weight times distance one divided by distance two, and there it is on the screen for you, do the calculation quickly. So it would basically be 25 kilograms because 50 is the weight times distance one is one meter, which gives us 50 divided by distance two, which is two is 25 kilograms. So all we would need to do is place 25 kilograms there. So that formula is really useful for you helping you to pass your mechanical comprehension test or aptitude test. So I want you to try three of these. Get used to them. Now it's your turn to try three more mechanical aptitude test questions. Please do put your answers to questions 17, 18 and 19 in the comments section below the video for marking. Thank you very much. Here we go. Question 17. How much weight will need to be placed on the left hand side to balance the beam? So you've got distance one, distance two, you've got the weight all to work with. There's the formula for you. Here's your timer. Brilliant. Well done. Question 18, another one. How much weight will need to be placed on the left hand side to balance the beam? The distances are different and the amount of weight is different as well. Here's a timer. Put your answer in the comments section below the video, please. Thank you. And question 19, how much weight, this is harder, will need to be placed on the left hand side to balance that beam? Look at the weight, 40 kilograms, distance one, distance two, off you go. Fantastic, brilliant. You've been doing a great job. Now, of course, you're going to want to accelerate your learning even further and try loads more mechanical aptitude test questions. So the next thing to do is to click that link in the top right hand corner. Head through to my website, howtobecome.com, and you can get more tips for passing your forthcoming mechanical aptitude or comprehension test. And you can also download my guide. It's a PDF guide. You can have it within your inbox within two minutes from now. And it's going to really help you to pass your mechanical aptitude test. Make sure you check that out. It's a great resource. Don't forget to put all your answers in the comments section below. We'll come on here each day and mark them for you. I wish you all the best for passing your test. Have a wonderful day. And don't forget to tell me which job you're applying for in the comments section as well. And I'll give you a different video, and more practice questions to work through. Have a great day. Wish you all the best. Take care. Thank you for watching.